Hey developers, today we're going to look at fidget spinners, but not these type, the ones you see virtually. Kind of defeats the purpose, but it's fun. Anyways, let's take a look at it and let's see some examples of some source code too. Hey, let's take a look at some virtual fidget spinners. But before we begin, let me remind everybody, I am giving away two books to two lucky viewers of my Vue.js in action book that is being published by Manning. To enter the contest, click the description below. It says, get your free book here. Click it, enter it. It'll sign you up for my mailing list. Make sure you confirm that email and I'll put you in a drawing. I'll be selecting someone next week, two lucky someones, just to, let, just to let you know. And one more little piece of housekeeping. I also put some links below for you to me. There's some really cheap courses. You can check those out too. So let's take a look here. Here is a couple examples of, fidget, of virtual fidget spinners, if you can believe it or not. So here is one, and you can go to fffidget.com. It's made by Mike Bodge. He actually didn't release the source code on this, but you can kind of see, you spin it, it changes the background color. It's kind of silly. If you go really fast, you kind of just flick your mouse and it'll go super fast. And this, the, the background will just pulsate and change color. I kind of took a look here a little bit. Um, all the code is obfuscated. So it's a little bit hard to figure out what everything is. It's all in this bundle JS file and then his HTML is all obfuscated. Another one, there is a virtual fidget spinner created by Scratch. Someone uploaded this blobby fish one, two, three. If you click on it, it actually plays a song. You can use the left, right button to spin it, hit space to change the colors, different types of fidget spinners. Some not very good at all. Kind of a Batman one. So I mean, some put a kind of a fun time in here. You can also look at the source code for it. So you can see here. You could stop it. So it's pretty neat. Uh, you could take a look at it here. Just go to scratchmit.edu. I'll put the link in the description below. There's tons of fidget spinners on iOS and Android virtual fidget spinners. Um, one kind of little Easter egg, if you go to google.com and you just type in spinner, <laughs> there's actually a fidget spinner kind of Easter egg that you can just use. You can either hit spin, it'll spin it for you. The more times you press it, faster it goes. Or you can actually turn it into like a, this type of spinner too. <laughs> just kind of silly. Uh, so yeah, another kind of silly spinner out there. If you go and take a look at GitHub, there's quite a few open source projects that people have just put their fidget spinner project on. So here's one, you can kind of take a look at it. So it kind of wobbles a little bit and you can move it around and you kind of throw it. It has this like wonky physics to it, which is nice. I'll reload it here. So yeah, you can spin it, you can move it around, you kind of throw it around. I don't know if there's any other secrets to it. So if you go here, you can take a look what he did. Send the index.html page, uh, just basic header, header tag. And uh, he has a style sheet in there. And then he has it all bundled up. And if you look at the bundle file, the bundle JS, kind of get an idea what he did here. Pretty big. It looks like, uh, I think he's not using JavaScript or jQuery, excuse me. I guess he is using, yeah, he's using jQuery. This might be what, a little bit of what Mike Boge's website, but you can't, actually you can move it around here too. I wonder if he just used the same source code or similar source code. I don't know. Actually, I'm almost certain now that I look at it, if you look at the bundle JS, the first functions resize me and the first function here is resize me. So he may have just copied some of this code. I mean, maybe it was unintentional. So I don't know, but it looks like this is the source code for it. And it just kind of explains everything here. I'm not gonna go through the source code line by line, but you, you can get the idea here of what he did. And the only thing different, like this has a little bit more wobble to it than Mike Boge's. 
and but it looks like they have the same kind of physics and they also Mike Bodge's background changes color and this one doesn't so there you go that's one pretty good example of it if you go to search just fidget spinner in github and there's just there's at least six javascript ones but there's tons people will put up their diagrams for their arduinos um you can they have plans to create your own arduino some had ios i guess there's swift code on here so there's a, a bunch of different implementations and you can get a lot of if someone did an in create rack app too i wonder if this works let's take a look so it's a react version doesn't look like it's working at least i don't know how to get it working but all right well that kind of gives you an idea of of how to look at these fidget spinners in a, a little bit different way if you like this type of videos please click that like button below that really helps me and click that subscribe button and once more if you want to enter my contest to get my Vue in gs in action book then click on that link below below thanks take care